There are six states or conditions muscles can be in. They are number one, hypertrophy, obviously everyone's heard of that one, which is growth in muscle fibers. We also have atrophy. This is the shrinkage in muscle fiber size. We then have maintenance. You can get stronger or more conditioned and maintain muscle size. We also have muscle conditioning where the fibers can undergo changes in endurance and efficiency with no significant change in size. We also have fiber type shifts, which is where muscle fibers can adapt to different types of training. For example, fast twitch fibers used for power can develop more endurance characteristics with consistent endurance training and vice versa. Then we have neural adaptations. Strength can improve due to better coordination and recruitment of muscle fibers without any significant changes in muscle size. Now, what we need to realize is you can only really get lean or toned by first growing lots of muscle and then losing fat around them, right? You can't lose fat around muscle if you have no muscle or no fat to begin with. Muscle growth occurs when the body is in a state of positive protein balance, meaning that muscle protein synthesis, the creation of new muscle proteins, exceeds muscle protein breakdown. To really achieve this, you need adequate protein intake, sufficient calories, we need resistant training to stimulate the muscles through strength training or resistant exercises, promoting muscle ad adaptation and growth. We also need to recognize that when you're in a caloric surplus, you create an environment that supports muscle growth, more so than when you're in a deficit. However, if the surplus is too large, the excess, the excess calories may be stored as fat, right? So adopting a strategy that involves consuming a slight caloric surplus to gain muscle while minimizing fat gain is usually the best tactic for a lot of people. But you can also grow muscle uh, within a calorie deficit and then burn off the burn off the uh, excess fat at the same time both do require careful management of diet and training now can you gain muscle without gaining fat it's possible to build muscle and lose fat simultaneously especially for beginners those returning to training after a break or individuals with a higher body fat than what is desirable so they might be in a deficit this process is generally called body recomposition and usually requires a balanced approach to diet and exercise. While fat gain can occur during muscle building phase, it's, it is not necessary for muscle growth, but with careful management of diet and exercise, it is possible to build muscle while minimizing or even losing fat.